Lord, in Christ. The Word of God teaches us that a carnal mind cannot please God. We said in an earlier study that a carnal mind actually leads to death. It leads to separation. But what do you uh, think of when you think of a carnal mind? Because many people believe that only those who are not Christ-like uh, are carnal in nature, are fleshly in nature. But that's not true. Believers can also be uh, carnal in nature. And as the Word of God tells us uh, in Romans 8, 7 and 8, it said, be because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Beloved, our God is a spirit, and we must worship Him in spirit and in truth. But when we think of carnality, we think about lust or uh, just uh, a sense of just doing your own thing, uh, living under a survival kind of thinking, an instinctive a beastly kind of survival. In other words, survival of the fittest or me first kind of thinking. But beloved, that kind of thinking does not allow us to really trust in God. We say that we trust in Him, but really our actions tells us something else. Amen? Because when we really trust in God, that does not mean that we do not move forward in doing the things that God has called us to. In other words, just sit back and say, well, God, I'm going to trust you in order to uh, provide for me. No, God gives us the means of provision. But, beloved, it is us that he provides us the strength, the energy and the focus to get the things that we need. But to have a carnal mind is a mind of thinking simply for yourself. As the Word says, beloved, in James 4.4 it says, Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Who therefore is a friend of the world, or consider the world to be their friend, then they are actually an enemy of God. So beloved, our mindset has to be one of spirituality. A spiritual mindset. Our focus are, should be on the things of God, not the things of this world. Yes, the world provides us with certain kinds of comfort, and it isn't anything wrong with that. But, beloved, that need not be our main focus. That should not be our struggle in this life. As uh, the Word tells us, to be anxious for nothing. But in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, beloved, we ought to put our trust in the Lord and we will not walk in that state of carnality and so as the word says so then that they that are in the flesh operating in the flesh walking in the flesh they cannot please God and that includes even us who are believers amen beloved our desire ought to be to please God and we cannot please Him by walking in the flesh, being controlled by the flesh, but rather by the Spirit. Beloved, be blessed today and allow the Spirit to control your life. In Jesus' name.